In phonetics, vowel roundedness refers to the amount of rounding in the lips during the articulation of a vowel. It is labialization of a vowel. When a rounded vowel is pronounced, the lips form a circular opening, and unrounded vowels are pronounced with the lips relaxed. In most languages, front vowels tend to be unrounded, and back vowels tend to be rounded. However, some languages, such as French and German, distinguish rounded and unrounded front vowels of the same height, and Vietnamese distinguishes rounded and unrounded back vowels of the same height. Alicano has only unrounded vowels. In the International Phonetic Alphabet Vowel Chart, rounded vowels are the ones that appear on the right in each pair of vowels. There are also diacritics, U plus 0339, combining right half ring below and U plus 031C, combining left half ring below, to indicate greater and lesser degrees of rounding, respectively. <laughs> Types of rounding There are two types of vowel rounding, protrusion and compression. In protruded rounding, the corners of the mouth are drawn together and the lips protrude like a tube, with their inner surface visible. In compressed rounding, the corners of the mouth are drawn together, but the lips are also drawn together horizontally, compressed, and do not protrude, with only their outer surface visible. That is, in protruded vowels the inner surfaces of the lips form the opening thus the alternate term endolabial, whereas in compressed vowels it is the margins of the lips which form the opening thus exolabial. Catford 1982, p. 172 observes that back and central rounded vowels, such as German, o, and, u, are typically protruded, whereas front rounded vowels such as German, o, and, y, are typically compressed. Back or central compressed vowels and front protruded vowels are uncommon, and a contrast between the two types has been found to be phonemic in only one instance. There are no dedicated IPA diacritics to represent the distinction, but the superscript IPA letter can be used for compression and or for protrusion. Compressed vowels may be pronounced either with the corners of the mouth drawn in, by some definitions rounded, or with the corners spread and, by the same definitions, unrounded. The distinction may be transcribed and you. The distinction between protruded u and compressed y holds for the semivowels w and as well as labialization. In Akan, for example, the is compressed, as are labia palatalized consonants as in twi, ti, twi, and adwuma ad u ma work, whereas w and simply labialized consonants are protruded. In Japanese, the with is compressed rather than protruded, paralleling the Japanese u. The distinction applies marginally to other consonants. In southern Teke, the sole language reported to have a phonemic, the labiodental sound is accompanied by strong protrusion of both lips, whereas the found as an allophone of per meter, before f, v, in languages such as English is not protruded, as the lip contacts the teeth along its upper or outer edge. Also, in at least one account of speech acquisition, a child's pronunciation of clown involves a lateral f with the upper teeth contacting the upper outer edge of the lip, but in crown, a non-lateral f is pronounced with the teeth contacting the inner surface of the protruded lower lip. Some vowels transcribed with rounded IPA letters may not be rounded at all. An example is which in English has very little if any rounding of the lips. The throaty sound of English is instead accomplished with sulcalization, a furrowing of the back of the tongue also found in non-rhotic. It is possible to mimic the acoustic effect of rounded vowels by narrowing the cheeks, so-called cheek rounding, which is inherent in back protruded but not front compressed vowels. The technique is used by ventriloquists to mask the visible rounding of back vowels like u. It is not clear if it is used by languages with rounded vowels that do not use visible rounding. The central and the back have not been reported to occur in any language. Topic: <inaudible> Spread and neutral. The lip position of unrounded vowels may be classified into two groups: spread and neutral. Front vowels are usually pronounced with the lips spread, and the spreading becomes more significant as the height of the vowel increases. Open vowels are often neutral, i.e. neither rounded nor spread, because the open jaw allows for limited rounding or spreading of the lips. This is reflected in the IPA's definition of the cardinal a, which is unrounded yet not spread either. <laughs> Roundedness and labialization 
Protruded rounding is the vocalic equivalent of consonantal labialization. Thus, rounded vowels and labialized consonants affect one another by phonetic assimilation, rounded vowels labialize consonants, and labialized consonants round vowels. In many languages, such effects are minor phonetic detail, but in others, they become significant. For example, in standard Chinese, the vowel is pronounced u after labial consonants, an allophonic effect that is so important that it is encoded in pinyin transliteration, alveolar tu, pinyin duo many versus labial pu, pinyin bo wave. In Vietnamese, the opposite assimilation takes place, velar codas k and are pronounced as labialized k and or even labial velar kp and m after the rounded vowels u and o in the northwest caucasian languages of the caucasus and the sepik languages of papua new guinea historically rounded vowels have become unrounded with the rounding being taken up by the consonant thus sepik ku and ko are phonemically kul w and kul w in the extinct ubi ku and ko were phonemically k and kaya a few ancient Indo-European languages like Latin had labiovelar consonants. See also Close back compressed vowel, or U, in Japanese and Swedish Near close back compressed vowel, in Swedish Close central compressed vowel y in Norwegian Mid-central compressed vowel o stroke in Swedish Close front compressed vowel y in French, German, etc. Mid-front compressed vowel o in French, German, etc. Close front protruded vowel y in Swedish Near close front protruded vowel in Swedish Close mid-front protruded vowel o stroke in Swedish Open mid-front protruded vowel in Swedish Close central protruded vowel Mid central protruded vowel Close back protruded vowel U common Mid back protruded vowel O common List of phonetics topics equals equals notes <laughs>